Hi, I'm Eric Brace and I'm very pleased to announce the release on my own Red Beat Records label of two great new records. Um, the Eric Brace and Peter Cooper release called Master Sessions and Peter Cooper's record called The Lloyd Green Album. I found a lot of people who'd broken down barriers had helped us to make this record. Lloyd Green, I mean, he really defined, you know, what is now the Americana steel guitar sound. Mike Aldrich, who with the seldom seen, here he was in a bluegrass band, but he was bringing in songs by Bob Dylan. Uh, they were they were doing Eric Clapton's After Midnight. There was a little of everything. Richard Bennett, I mean, he was the guitar on Steve Earle's Guitar Town. Certainly Dave Rowe, who uh, became an integral part of Johnny Cash's on stage sound, and that's a guy that everybody looks up to. So these really are the masters. Growing up in Washington, D.C., I would go see the seldom scene as much as possible. They'd play every Thursday night, and I know that uh, Peter, when he was in high school up in the D.C. area, he would go see them a lot, too, and we both were just, like, mad for the seldom scene. So when it came time to put together this record, uh, we, had this, we had this dream, this wish list, well, let's get Lloyd Green, let's get Mike Aldridge, and we'll get them in the studio together, and we'll make a record, and that's what we did, and it's spectacular. I mean, the world's greatest steel player and the world's greatest dobro player going at it and having this musical conversation. I can't believe our good fortune that they both said yes and uh, I think they both had a great time in the studio. I know I did. The first time I heard Mike Aldrich uh, was an interesting experience. My, my wife uh, went and bought me a couple albums of his and I listened when I had an opportunity and it just blew me away. I thought, oh my God, this is the way I want to this is exactly what I had in mind. This is what I want to learn to play like. So I, I wrote him a fan letter. I said, I don't know if you know who I am, but uh, I play steel cut records in Nashville. And I said, I really like your dobro playing, and I'd like anything else you have, please send me up. I, I, I wrote a song called that I named Lloyds of Nashville that kind of mimicked the, the sound that uh, he did with, with uh, Don Williams. Uh, except I, I, I would be the dobro player and he would be the vocalist on the pedal steel, so it was kind of this call and answer thing. Oh, there it is. So anyway, I, I got to know him and he was on another cut or two on my record in 1976. And uh, we got to know each other a little bit, but then I didn't see him for years. and. So uh, when, when Eric and Peter approached me about doing this, uh, this new project, one of the most attractive things to me about it was that uh, Lloyd Green was going to be on it. So, um, and, and, and we got to be really good friends this time because we spent a lot of time working in rehearsals and just hanging out and at dinner and things like that. We didn't get a chance to do the first time, so the second time was, was uh, much better than the first time. Yeah, Lloyd has said this is one of his favorite recordings to make, and you're talking here about a guy who was on, uh, he's been on over a hundred number one country records. George Jones, Tammy Wynette. He played with The Birds on the Sweetheart of the Rodeo album. Farron Young. He played with Paul McCartney. Johnny Paycheck. He played with uh, Charlie Pride. Dolly Parton. And he played with Don Williams. We got a pretty good band, too. Yeah. That, that. Yeah. <laughs> the joys of living in Nashville, Richard Bennett and Jen Gunderman and Dave Rowe and Pat McInerney, uh, but some of the people that came in to sing, we got Kenny Chesney, we got John Randall, we got Julie Lee, and they're all spectacular. And it just wouldn't be the same record without them. I think in the end, the, the tones that we got and everything, uh, it's one. I think it's one of my favorite things that I've ever recorded in the studio in 35 years that I've been in the studio. It's one of my favorite recordings. After my leave of absence of 15 years, uh, there's not been too many great experiences. I mean, I, until I met Peter Cooper and, and later Eric Brace and, and started recording this really inventive original stuff that, that's happening out of East Nashville. My best experiences of, of the last eight years since I've been back have been on these albums with Peter Cooper and Eric Brace uh, by far. 
one song that we did uh, that Peter and I used to hear all the time every Thursday night when we'd go see the seldom scene at the Birchmere up in uh, Alexandria, Virginia. And it's just a great country rock song. It's just a great song written by Herb Peterson. Wait a minute, did I hear you say you're going far away again? I was with the seldom scene for almost 25 years. And, um, and, and one of the biggest hits we had was a song called Wait a Minute. So when they came over and we were talking about things to, to record, they said, well, we need to do Wait a Minute because you, know, you were such a big part of that. It turns out that Kenny Chesney is also a big uh, seldom seen fan, which is really flattering, and, and I loved that. So they, they overdubbed Kenny on my part, which uh, I'm more than happy to relinquish to, to such a great singer. and. and uh, you know, huge star. I'm, I'm sure he'll, I, I hope he'll bring some recognition to this record and make us all rich. <laughs> the second song on the record is called Suffer a Fool, and Peter wrote that one with a good pal of his. Yeah, I was um, sitting around one day talking with uh, Don Schlitz, the guy that wrote The Gambler, it's and, a uh, and a whole bunch of other and huge hit songs. Anyway, Don was asking about my wife, and I said, well, she's a very patient person. He said, I wonder how she got that way. Practice. In Nashville, we've got one of the best door guys in the world, this guy named Big Steve. He listens to everything that's going on inside the door, and he talks to people outside the door. It seems to me like the music belongs to him as much as... Uh, as much as anybody that, that I know. Big Steve stands at the door and says, five dollars, please. He's six foot eight, so we rarely disagree. And another one that we did together is called Missoula Tonight. When Last Train Home, my band uh, was playing out in um, Big Fork, Montana, we were playing a gig out there, right in the middle of a whole bunch of forest fires at, at Glacier National Park, and it was the most sort of apocalyptic vision I, I'd ever had of looking out into the night sky and just seeing the, the whole mountainside covered in flame. Come closer, darling, there's ash in your hair. It's a very tasteful record, but it rocks and it's got great songs on it and spectacular playing. And Mike and Lloyd both talk about it as uh, one of the high points of their musical careers, which, you know, means so much to us because we just wanted to record with our heroes, you know. Uh, along with Master Sessions, we're also putting out uh, Peter Cooper's second release, and it's called the Lloyd Green Album, and as you can tell by the title, it features Lloyd Green. Peter had a great idea of making kind of a duo record with his voice and, and songs of his and his choosing, and Lloyd Steele, and they do this beautiful thing together, and I love it. You can ask anyone. Lloyd is my favorite musician uh, in the world. Eric, I'm sorry to break that to you. Um, uh, you know, I love singing with you, but man, Lloyd Green, it is a spectacular sounding record, and to hear um, Peter and Lloyd working together in a, in a very minimal and beautiful way is, is just mind-boggling. Well, thank you. It's not true, but, you know, I want to sell some records. <laughs> Wait a minute, did I... So there you have it, two great new releases on Red Beat Records. We've got Master Sessions by Eric Brace and Peter Cooper. We've got the uh, Lloyd Green album by Peter Cooper himself. And uh, you can find out more about both of those at redbeatrecords.com. We hope you'll check it out and we hope that you will love them. <laughs>